your girl Jay and today I'm here with a part two of my December wrap up for 2019. I read a total of 12 books this month. Granted they were mostly graphic novels but that's besides the point. Without further ado, let us get started. The first book I'm going to talk about is Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. I give this book a 4 out of 5 stars. It is a short story collection based in the Lunar Chronicles world. I I'm a big fan of The Lunar Chronicles, one of my favorite series of all time. Marissa Meyer is one of my favorite authors of all time, so I really enjoyed this. I loved being able to look back on some of my favorite characters and seeing like their origin stories or seeing them in the future. The series just honestly holds such like a special place in my heart. The final story during the wedding was by far my favorite, but that was just honestly being able to see them again just made my little heart so happy. I'm definitely sad that the series and the whole world is finally over because I also read Fairest which will be my next book that I talk about but the series is over and like I, I'm really sad about it but also like so happy that I finally finished it. So like I said the next book that I picked up was Fairest by Marissa Meyer. I gave this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. This is the backstory of Queen Lavana, the villain in the Lunar Chronicles. This bitch is crazy like seeing where she came from and why she is the way that she is both heartbreaking but also like you're insane it was really interesting to read from her perspective and realize that she like genuinely thought that what she was doing was the right thing to do the biggest like complaint that i have about the book was like the rape storyline and how it wasn't ever really confronted it just kind of was a thing that happened throughout the story. But I did really like to see glimpses of Cinder and Winter and Jason throughout the story. That was a big highlight for me as well. So overall I did enjoy it but it definitely was not my favorite in the series. Next book I picked up was Fourth Grave Beneath My Feet by Dorinda Jones. This is the fourth book in the Charlie Davidson series. I read the first three a while ago. I think last month or the month before that. And I am still not a fan of these books. I gave it a two out of five stars but I now no longer have to continue with this series because I only owned the first four. So I am free from Charlie Davidson. This one was at least slightly better than the last three, but Charlie still is just like not a good person. She has very bad jokes and just a shitty personality in general. Still don't understand the appeal of the love interest. Still kind of hate him. Still very rapey feels. Not a fan. The one redeeming part is Charlie's best friend Cookie. I think she's very funny and I would just like a whole story about Cookie instead of Charlie. Next I picked up a graphic novel, Sleepless by Sarah Vaughn. I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. It follows Princess Poppy who is the illegitimate daughter of the now deceased king. Poppy wishes to return to her mother in a far off land, but the new king, her uncle, refuses to let her leave. To make matters more distressing, somebody wants her dead, but her sleepless night has vowed to keep her safe, and it's basically the story of her trying to figure out who is trying to murder her while also trying to find a way back to her mother. The court politics and the characters were definitely intriguing, but I wasn't overly thrilled with the story, but I'm also interested to see how the story progresses, so I'm very torn between whether I liked the book or not, which is why I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. Honestly, it was just like a little bit too slow for me. I think if there was more action scenes, I would have enjoyed it more, but like I said, it was pretty average for me. The next book I picked up was House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin A. Craig. I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. This book follows Anna Lee and her sisters who live a very sheltered life in Highmore with her father and her stepmother. There used to be 12 sisters, but four of them have mysteriously died. People in the town believe that the family has been cursed by the gods and Annalie is beginning to think that as well. As Annalie begins to investigate her sister's death with the help of a mysterious stranger, 
The other sisters have decided to sneak off in the middle of the night to go dance at extravagant balls. So now Annalie must decide whether or not she is going to join her sisters at these balls or discover the truth behind her sister's deaths before the killer strikes again. And it's like the story of that. It's a horror 12 dancing princesses retellings. I've said this on my channel like a thousand trillion times that I am a huge fan of fairy tale retellings. So it comes to no surprise that I really enjoyed this one. Although it was extremely slow at some times, I still was intrigued with the story and the characters. I don't know if it's because I've never actually read the original story of the 12 Dancing Princesses and that's why I enjoyed it more because I know that a lot of people say that it is very similar, but then again, like, it's a fairy tale retelling, so it should be similar. I loved the creepy atmosphere of Highmore and the Sea and the ghostly images that Annalie conjured up. I loved being able to, like, picture everything so vividly in my head. Like, when the author described the balls that the sisters attended, it was just so easily to picture everything. I'm personally, like, a huge fan of unreliable narrators, so I really enjoyed Annalie. I know that a lot of people complain about how unreliable she is, but I'm a fan. I think my biggest complaint would be the romance. It kind of felt just very unneeded in my opinion, like I didn't see the point of it. It would have been way better without it, I think at least. But overall, I really enjoyed the book. I definitely recommend it if you want like a spooky, creepy read. This would probably be great for around Halloween time, but big fan of creepy atmospheres. And then the final book that I picked up is another graphic novel. It is Heart in a Box by Kelly Thompson. This follows a girl named Emma. Who so in a moment of weakness, Emma wishes that she never had a heart to begin with, and when a mysterious stranger comes and grants that wish, she quickly realizes that that might not have been the best decision, so she is sent off on a mission to find the seven pieces of her broken heart and get them back. I ended up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars, which I was very surprised by. I did not think that I was going to enjoy it as much as I did. It's an extremely simple story, but one that definitely hit home for me. I don't know if that's because I recently went through a breakup where I thought we were going to be together for a very, very long time. So I don't know if it, I just like personally related to what Emma was feeling. Emma travels across the country trying to find the pieces of her broken heart and she has more of a journey of self-discovery, I guess rediscovery, and she realizes that she's worth more than some man, which I really loved that message in the end. I really loved the ending of the book. It was just so wholesome and pure and I really hope that there's a second like volume of this so that we can see the characters again because I just like want to know more. I definitely recommend you guys pick this up if you've never heard of it or if you have heard of it then hurry up and pick it up because it's real cute. All right everybody so that was my part two of December 2019 wrap up. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books or what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs>